if you're just starting out using SQL, you're going to want to watch this video because I'm going to show you how to use a sliding window to do a query. All right, so let's get to it. I'm going to go through and show you how to do some queries using some date functions. And as part of that, I'll show you how to put together a sliding window so that you don't have to hard code um, some of your um, filtering when you're trying to query for date information. So let's get started. I'm going to first run a query just to show you some of our sample data here. I put together just a quick um, table showing some products and the last time these products have been used. And what I want to do is just go through and quickly show some simple functions that we can use to get information from our date. So one that we can use is year, right? So I can just type like year and then I'm going to say like last used date. and I'll just call it year last used. And when I run this, you'll see that what it returns is just the year that portion of the last used date. And then likewise, I can do the same thing with month. So what I'm gonna do here now is add a column for month and do the same thing. We got a function for month. We'll call that month last used. And as you, probably guess there's also one for day so let's do that and we'll fix this comma here while we are doing this and there's day last used so we'll call this day and day last used and then just so we can kind of keep track of this stuff I'm going to put these on their own line and now when I run this, you can see we have our last used column and then year last used, month last used, and day last used. All right, so far so good. Now, the next thing we can do is get the current date. And to do that, we use a function called get date. I'll just call that today. And what it's going to do is put a new column on the end, which is today, and it has the date and time. So the, now with all these pieces, I can now show you how to do some filtering. So I'm just going to leave these pieces on the end of our data. But now let's suppose that we want to just filter out uh, the products that were used in 2020. I could say where year and then I could say last use date equals 2020, right? And then when I run this, you'll see where it brings in every last year or you know use date is 2020. Now on the same I can do the same thing with month. So I could say where and month so let's say like greater than nine and that'll bring in everything that was in October November and December whoops so let's do this I gotta put month last use date I got a little too more excited there and as you can see now that brings that in okay so what I've really done here is I've kind of hard-coded the dates and I want to now show you how to do the rolling window part because this is the exciting part and to do this I'm going to introduce a new function and that function is date diff and what date diff does is it allows us to compare two dates and take the difference and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the difference between our last use date and today and then use that time period to determine whether we need to ex um, include a record or not. So if the time period is you know like less than two months or so many days, we can include the record. So what I can do here is come in and say, for instance, where um, date diff, and then I, the interval would be like the number of days and it's got a weird syntax, so you type a D, 
and then the starting date time would be last used and then we're going to go to to today so we'll go to get date there we go it's kind of weird having the parentheses like this but that's how it, how it is and then what I'm going to say is is that if this difference is greater than or less than 60 include the include the record in our filter so this should bring back everything that's you know in the range of like January in December maybe some records from November when I run this you can see it's bringing back um, the records in you know January and December so if I make it 90 it should bring back a couple more hopefully and here you can see it's bringing back a couple more I guess to help you see the flavor of how this is working let's just move this up here and we'll call this um, date diff we'll call this um, time lapsed days lapsed and now when we run this you can see how many days have passed right so there's been 77 days between now and October 20th now I can do the same thing with M for month okay and of course I wouldn't want to use 90 here but I could use like two and you can see now it'll show me how many I got changed this to M though right and then make this like months lapsed there we go execute so show me how many months have lapsed so zero for January one for December makes sense um, one thing I want to point out is that when it comes to the months it's it's going to go in the month boundary so it's it's not by days it's going to be by the month so anyways I think this can really help you with your queries to make it a little more flexible you got now got a moving window you can use and you don't have to hard code so if you have a query where you want to always show like records in the last month or the last two months you now have a way to do that or you could use the days to say hey show me every record that's um, you know in the last 60 days and and you can do that using date diff so i hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and i'll get back to you